The time is 8:45 p.m. This is a Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Here's the news edited by Anjana Dutam Goda and read by Tilani Pires. The headlines: The president optimistic to build a Sri Lanka that the youth aspire. The electricity sector reforms to be tabled in parliament. Sri Lanka Electricity Bill Gazette published. State honors for Dr. A.T. Ariratna's funeral. Sri Lanka plans to attract over 4 billion US dollars in foreign investments in 2024. Sri Lanka to introduce free visas for over 50 countries. Excise man who distorted singer Badagay's Aurudu song remanded. And on international news Indonesia issues to tsunami alert after volcano erupts on remote island. And on sports news the Chamari Athapathu scored an unbeaten 195 of 139 balls leading Sri Lanka to a stunning victory over South Africa. The president Rani Wickremesinghe expressed his firm conviction in his ability to shape the Sri Lanka that the nation's youth envision embracing the daunting task of revitalizing Sri Lanka's faltering economy which many deemed challenging the president underscored his success in stabilizing the nation's economic trajectory within a mere 2 years he emphasized that unity was the sole requisite for propelling the country towards progress addressing a gathering of young members of parliament and emerging political figures from the Noorelia district at the presidential palace Noorelia today president Rani Wickremesinghe reiterated his commitment to fostering the region's development into a premier tourist destination despite criticisms leveled against the government's initiative for Noorelia's advancement the president asserted that with widespread support such efforts could catalyze a transformative shift in the nation's economic landscape the government has decided to bestow state honors on the late dr at aryaratna founder of sarvodaya his last rites will be performed on saturday at 4 pm at the independence square in colombo with full state honors Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardena has directed the State Administration Home Affairs, Provincial Councils and Local Government Ministry Secretary Pradeep Yasaratna to oversee the necessary arrangements for the state honours. Born in 1931 in the south of Sri Lanka, Dr. Aryaratna was confirmed the highest national award, the Sri Lanka Abhimanya Award. by the president of Sri Lanka in 2007 and many international awards such as the Raman Magasese Award Philippines 1969 King Badruddin Award for International Development Belgium 1982 Nivano Peace Prize Japan 1992 and Mahatma Gandhi Peace Prize India 1996 for his contribution to human well-being and peace Dr Aryaratna was also honored with a Doctor of Letters degree from Sri Jawadanapura University and a Doctor of Humanities degree from Amelio Aguinaldo College of Medicine in the Philippines. Dr Aryaratna's body will be kept at the Sarvode headquarters in Morotua till 12 noon on Saturday. The cortege will be taken to Independence Square later that afternoon. The State Minister of Investment Promotion Dilu Mamunugama has said that Sri Lankan government expects to attract 4 billion to 4.5 billion US dollars in foreign investments in 2024. The state minister said in 2023 Sri Lanka attracted 1.8 billion dollars worth of foreign investments although the target was only 1.5 billion dollars. He said that the government has set an investment target of 4.5 billion dollars in 2024. The state minister Mamunugama said foreign investments have increased significantly after the country entered into an agreement with the international monetary fund he said that due to the political and economic instability in sri lanka foreign investment declined in 2022 and the first half of 2023 this news broadcast comes to you from the sri lanka broadcasting corporation Sri Lanka is considering providing free visas to over 50 countries it was reported according to the tourism ministry sources a proposal in this regard is to be submitted to the cabinet of ministers next week the cabinet paper is to be drafted by the tourism minister as a joint paper with foreign minister Ali Sabri and public security minister Tiranalas the move will allow over 50 countries to enjoy free visas to visit Sri Lanka The Kuliyapitiya Magistrates Court ordered the remand of the Excise Department officer until April 22nd for singing and releasing on social media a distorted version of a popular traditional Sinhala and Tamil New Year song Surya Mangale by veteran singer Rohan Badage. The 31-year-old suspect who is a resident of Thalathoya area in Variapolla 
and an excise officer at a distillery in the Dumalasuri area was arrested on Tuesday in connection with the singing and sharing a distorted version of the famous song sung by veteran artist Rohana Badagay, which was aired during the Singhal and Tamil New Year season across the country every year by the Computer Crime Investigation Division of the CID in Variapola. That ends local news so now. The main news story is brought to you by Siddha Lepa Vedamahatma. The proposed reforms in the electricity sector have taken a significant step forward as they were officially published in the Government Gazette yesterday under the title Sri Lanka Electricity Bill. The Minister of Power and Energy, Kantanavijay Sekar, announced the development via X, revealing that the bill is scheduled to be presented to Parliament during the upcoming sitting week. Moreover, Minister Vijay Sekar highlighted that the revised bill incorporates amendments suggested by the stakeholders during consultations held in January. This includes highlights the government's commitment to incorporating diverse perspectives into the reform process. Additionally, the public will have a two-week window from the bill's presentation in Parliament to challenge its legality in the Supreme Court, as stated by the Minister Vijay Sekra. This provision ensures transparency and allows for scrutiny of the proposed reforms by all stakeholders. That was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddha Lepa Vedamatma. And on Watch Light tonight, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in coordination with uh, Sri Lanka missions in Myanmar and Thailand, successfully facilitated the repatriation of eight Sri Lankans who were trafficked for forced criminal activities in cyber scamming compounds in Myanmar. Myanmar law enforcement authorities rescued these Sri Lankans on 4th of April 2024 following the request by the government of Sri Lanka. The Sri Lanka embassy officials in Bangkok received them on the 11th of April 2024 at the Mersot border gate in Thailand and subsequently they were brought to Bangkok and provided accommodation until their repatriation was arranged with the assistance of the International Organization of Migration. That came to in Watchlight. Coming up, World News. World News headlines first. Indonesia issues tsunami alert after volcano erupts on remote island. Russia pounds Ukraine cities and front lines as air defense dwindle. Sri Lanka man wanted for, one, for 1991 murder in Romania captured in Germany. The Indonesian authorities on Wednesday ordered hundreds of villagers to evacuate following multiple eruptions of a remote island volcano, re raising fears it could collapse into the sea and trigger a tsunami. The country's volcanology agency said Mount Ruan, a 725-meter conical Stratko volcano on Ruan Island, North Sulawesi, has erupted at least five times since Tuesday night spring, fiery lava and ash plumes thousands of feet into the sky. Ukraine's dwindling supply of air defense missiles enable Russia to devastate its energy infrastructure with ever-increasing effectiveness during the past week, while its artillery shell rationing allowed Moscow's forces to continue a slow advance on the ground. Making matters worse, Ukraine recorded no counterattacks against energy or military targets inside Russian territory. A 53-year-old man from Sri Lanka internationally wanted for a murder committed in Bucharest in 1991 and arrested in Germany at the beginning of this year will be brought to Romania on the 23rd of April to serve a 19-year prison sentence. The man will be brought to the country by an escort of the Romanian police. Receiving reports that the man was in Germany, the Romanian police cooperated with his German counterpart and had the man arrested in Moors, Germany on January 3rd. After being brought back to the country, the individual will be incarcerated to serve the sentence. Back to the World News headlines, Indonesia issues tsunami alert after volcano erupts on remote island. Russia pounds Ukraine cities and front lines as air defense dwindle. Sri Lanka man wanted for 1991 murder in Romania captured in Germany. That ends World News. Moving on with development news, as Sri Lanka's monthly fuel sales from retail distributors have been on the rise, the official data from the Power and Energy Minister showed. The total fuel sales through state-run Sipetko India's 
LIOC and China's Sinopec are on the rise and have peaked monthly higher in March, signaling a possible recovery of the battered economy that saw an unprecedented economic crisis and contractions. That ends development news. Moving on with sports news. President Rani Vikramasinghe has personally congratulated Sri Lanka cricketer Chamari Atapattu following her historic innings in women's cricket. Atapattu scored an unbeaten 195 of 139 balls, leading Sri Lanka to a stunning victory over South Africa and securing a draw in the ODI series. The president's call to Atapattu not only celebrated her personal achievement, but also recognized her pivotal role in elevating the profile of women's cricket in Sri Lanka. That was Sports News. Go Ekatiana, you ticket, life cricket, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kapuina, Habakarana, you ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship recommender. The all new NSP Ithrumitru account, NSP I am, a plan for your dream. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Hema's Hospitals has taken yet another pioneering step forward in enhancing patient care with the introduction of its online lab portal, a revolutionary web platform designed to transform the way patients access and manage their lab reports and results. The lab portal empowers patients with the convenience of viewing both their historical and recent reports directly on their smartphones, offering a seamless and efficient approach to healthcare management. This is a first for Sri Lanka and underscores Hema's Hospitals, commitment to digital enablement and patient-centric care. That ends Business News. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go Ekatiana, you ticket, life cricket, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kapuina, Habakarana, you ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship recommender. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. And on economic news, Sri Lanka's rupee will be taken to 272 the US dollar, President Ranveer Kamasinghe has said on a visit to the Hill Country after saying in March the currency will be taken to 280 to the US dollar by June. The rupee is strengthened now, President Vikramasinghe told a member of the public who said fertilizer prices were high while he was inspecting Sri Lanka's Pico Trail on a tea estate in Pusel Lava. That came to you in economic news. <laughs> Weather report. Showers or thunder showers will occur at several places in the western and Sabragama provinces and in the Gaul and Matra districts in the night. Showers or thunder showers may occur at a few places in the north central and northwestern provinces and in the Mannar district during the afternoon or night. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the western, Sabragama and central provinces and in the Gaul and Matra districts during the morning hours. That was the weather report. And now to end this news broadcast, the main points once again. The president optimistic to build a Sri Lanka that the youth aspire. The electricity sector reforms to be tabled in Parliament, Sri Lanka Electricity Bill Gazette published. State honours for Dr. A.T.R. Ratna's funeral. Sri Lanka plans to attract over four billion U.S. dollars in foreign investments in 2024. Sri Lanka to introduce free visas for over 50 countries. Excise man who distorted singers Bad the Gays out of the song remanded. And on international news, Indonesia issues tsunami alert after volcano erupts on remote island. And on sports news, Chamari Atapattu scored an unbeaten 195 of 139 balls, leading Sri Lanka to a stunning victory over South Africa. That ends this news broadcast. And now, as always, on a Thursday night, it's back to our good friends, as well as yours, Marilla Van Dort and Navidu, all set and ready, I'm sure, with a great lineup of music as always, on a Thursday night. So it's my great pleasure to hand over the microphone once again back to you, Marilla, and Navidu on the other side.